I'm so glad he's on this trip with us. He's the perfect addition. He's an amazing guy. He's got a good heart. He's always smiling. I can't say a bad word about the man. It's just glorious. Uh, the man is quite hilarious. Very sneaky, but not in the bad kind of way, the good kind of way that like would only benefit you on the side. It's great. I love it. I have learned that that man likes to fix his carby more than any other man in the world. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. And everything breaks on RS's bike all the time. 15 days ago I met uh, RS. RS is awesome. He always tells me how to take care of my motorbike. All the rumors everyone ever told me about traveling with that man is completely true. He's a, he's a lunatic. He's completely crazy. He loses that shit all the time. He gets lost, but he's awesome and I love him. He's exactly what I expected. The idea starts with him. So it's a good, very good friend and from him I learned how to not lose things. He is so sensitive. He's I live with him, so I sort of knew what to expect, but I think you've become more sensitive over time. In Sinus, the sensitive soul, very sensitive, friendly, amazing. And yeah, I learned with him. I'm trying to make him more sneaky. I, I love the presence of others, meeting new people. I've not stopped meeting new people since I've been here, and that's been one of the highlights. I like things to go the way that I want them to go. Really need to sleep much in Asia. That's a really tough one, that's a really tough one. My favorite moment was when Danny arrived and everything went smoothly. Cool again, like at the airport, after two years, it was very nice. Definitely be leaving the big city. Uh, I can't remember what town we left on the motorbikes, but we started driving up through the mountains and there was fog rolling over the hills and then there was sun and there was rain and it just smelled beautiful and all the trees were beautiful and I just felt completely free, completely free to do whatever I wanted. I try not to freak out. I don't, I don't think I did freak out. <laughs> Dogs fucking in the background, that's classic. <laughs> like going in the lad out and I was too lazy to walk so I asked a guy, a Vietnamese guy, if he can hitchhike me to the nightclub because I get lost. And, <laughs> and he said, yeah, you come with up to a motor, I jump over his motorbike and he just drove me to the nightclub but during the ride he told me, you want to do massa? And massa means in Vietnamese if you want to yeah. Oh, oh, I nearly seen Sinners get hit by a truck, and that scared the shit out of me too. People, absolutely amazing people. They are so kind, they're so happy, they laugh. We, many, many nights we sat down and drank rice wine with them. It was so much fun. They were so happy to invite us in. Different from city to country, but very welcoming and open when you're in the countryside. The worst meal would be balut. We, in, in Vang Tao, we got, so you know, people don't know what balut is, it is a three week old embryo in a shell. It's about, you know, what an egg looks like, obviously. But that is a baby, so you put it in your mouth and you're literally eating a beak, a skull, a brain, feet of a baby, and it's so salty and it's so. You shouldn't eat it, it was disgusting. And I really fall in love with pan mi. Okay, pan mi is just a bread that put things inside. It's the most amazing food. You can taste one pan mi in the south, one pan mi in the north. I really, really love them. Worst meal would definitely be the first night we got here. And we tried dried squid, I think it was. These little squid things hanging on Street Street Vendor's bicycles. And they cooked it over some fire and crushed it and put it with a little bit of like salty dip. It was horrible. Hey, I mean, Dalat, we had the best pho you've ever had in your entire life. It was amazing. Bread rolls and it was just amazing. Please explain what is a pho. A pho is a noodle soup. Right? This was not no normal pho. This was like 
cooked since midday and it was only perfect at 3 a.m. That was why it was so good. And it had been cooking from 3 o'clock in the afternoon till 3 a.m. in the morning and it was hitting its stride so perfectly. Delicious. A meal that I paid too much money for was the worst meal, but I can't remember it. It's definitely leaving Hoi An uh, with the hammocks and getting into that country and just living in the jungle, doing living day by day. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Off the main road. Yeah. I didn't know how was Vietnam, so when I was riding, I was like really freaking out with the landscapes and the waterfalls but I really like a lot of the four riding together So what do you like about traveling with Cyclone to Paris? You don't have to worry at all everything is gonna be okay and by okay I mean amazing it's like it's not just happening it's in a bigger way, like when you meet people, you actually meet them, you just don't pass by them. We, we stay at locals' house every night with hammock. And so that really is the spirit of traveling and not only tourism. And I think they really got it. They, they understand what you need to travel. Everything was going wrong. We had shitty food. We had way too much alcohol into our blood. It was pouring rain like we couldn't even breathe if there was so much water in the air, you know? And we were like, we have nowhere to sleep. And so everything was going wrong. And I don't know why, everybody was so happy. And it was like a huge smile on the face and everybody was okay with it. And I was like, yeah, you know what? That's why you want to travel with them. 